Hey everybody, this is Abhay. In the previous video, we have discussed the inheritance and in this video, we are going to discuss what is a composition. Composition is again an important concept in the OOPS. So before going into that, let's revise what we have discussed in the previous video. In the previous video, we have seen the inheritance that is, uh, we can inherit a property from one class to another class. For example, if we have a vehicle class and a car class, so car will inherit, inherit all the properties of the vehicle class. So this was inheritance. Inheritance basically deal with is a relationship that is car is a vehicle, dog is an animal, is a relationship is dealt by inheritance. But in composition, composition dealt with has a relationship among two classes for example we have a monitor class a case class and a motherboard class and then we have a pc class so we know a pc have a motherboard have a case and have a monitor so this is the you know relationship is dealt by composition that is PC is not a motherboard, but PC has a motherboard. PC is not a monitor, but PC has a monitor. PC is not the case, but PC has a case. So this relationship among two classes is dealt by composition. Okay, so let's see an example first. Let's create the PC class first. New class and here we have creating a PC class. Okay, so as you can see here we have a PC class. So a PC has a case so let's type private case the case let's say right okay as, as you can see here uh, I am this is basically a class that we are going to create in future so as we have discussed very early that a class can be used as a data type which are which we are going to use as a field here so this is how it is so private case the case pc has a case then pc has a private uh, monitor monitor the monitor right okay now private what else we have we have motherboard mother p o a r d motherboard the motherboard right so this is three things that we have in a pc let's ignore this this one now let's create a constructor press ctrl plus n constructor let's select all these fields here we have our constructor then again ctrl plus n let's set getters here we have a getters as you can see we have <coughs> simple this is uh, just a simple class we have case monitor and then we have motherboard here we have a constructor then we have getters for all these fields now let's create the case class so package name new java class case so uh, as you can see error is gone from here that is this case now what we have in a case a case have a private string model name case has a model name then private string case has um, what we have we have manufacturer manufacturer right then we have private a case has a dimension so dimension we are going to create this in a near future dimension right so um, dimension right let's create our uh, constructor we have constructor then we have uh, getters okay we let's add a method that is power button is clicked public void press power button right so this will simply just print something that is power button is pressed power button is pressed right nothing special here so we have to create a dimension here let's create the dimension new class java class 
dimension okay as you can see error is gone from here this is saying the typo let's say dimension right we have to set this one dimension dimension and here dimension right okay so what we have in dimension in dimension we have simple private uh, int height okay height then we have private end width w i d t h then we have depth so let's construct now let's create getters okay as you can see here we have right now let's back to our pc class In the PC class, we have a motor. It's okay. Let's select this one again. The dimension here, we have to select this one. Okay, it is good now. We have no error in this one and in dimension class. So in the PC class, we have to create a monitor. Let's create monitor class, Java class, monitor, right? So as you can see, error from monitor is gone. So in the monitor, what we have in monitor, we have private string model name let's say model name then we have private string manufacturer and then we have private end size size of the monitor in inches then what else we have we have a resolution in monitor so private resolution native resolution native resolution native resolution right so let's create the constructor let's have getters for this one okay now let's have a method here and this method is a draw pixel so public public void draw pixel at draw pixel at right here we have to take uh, x and y as, in, as an input which is the dimension x axis and y axis and the color of the stroke that is in what color we have to draw pixel that is int int x it is going to be the x axis then we have int y going to be the y axis then the color which is string color so it's simple so let's print this one so this says drawing pixel at drawing pixel at okay i'm just a bit slow at this one don't judge me please drawing pixel at this one with color with color and let's say color is this color color right so we had done with the draw pixel add function and what else we have we have to create a resolution class okay new java class resol resolution right okay as you can see error is gone from here let's create the resolution class okay here is our resolution class so in the resolution we have a private end height nothing special private end width then we have that's it that's we have in the control plus and constructor let's select getters okay we are done with resolution what else we have we have motherboard left only so new java class motherboard okay so as you can see error is gone right so in the motherboard what we have uh, we have private string model name then we have private string manufacturer as usual manufacturer then what else we have we have number of ram slots private end ram slots and we have private end card slots for graphics card or something card slots right 
let's have a constructor here is a constructor okay let's have our uh, getter sorry okay this is all now let's add a method that is load a program public void load program let's pass the name of program program name program name right simple it will simply say is program name is loading simple so this is what we have a motherboard then we have a monitor then we have a case so we have everything that what we need to build a pc right and this is our pc class okay in the motherboard we have a load program function load program method in the monitor we have draw pixel at method and in the case we have press power button so let's write some code now let's create our case so we press type case case the case is new case right so in the case we have to pass the model name in the model name let's say we have a 220b i don't even know that if it is a name of a case or not i'm just writing something manufacturer manufacturer let's say we have acer acer is our manufacturer and then we have dimension so let's create we have before passing dimension we have to create the dimension class so what we do we type simply new dimension we are we are creating a new object on the go without uh, using uh, what you say a variable new dimension and we pass height height is let's say uh, 2450 it could be anything i don't know then we have width width let's say we have uh, 24 we have width width let's say we have 20 then we have some depth depth let's say we have 15 this numbers makes no sense but it will get the job done right now we have done with case now we have to build a monitor monitor the monitor is a new monitor right for the monitor we have model name model name let's say uh, lg ultra wide ultra wide and manufacturer is uh, definitely lg then what else we have we have a size size uh, i guess 39 inches okay then we have a resolution let's create a new resolution and resolution have height and width so let's type 2450 okay i guess 2450 and uh, width is 1080 right okay so we are done with the case the monitor and what else we have to create we have to create motherboard let's create motherboard the motherboard is a new motherboard in the motherboard we have to pass a model name model name let's say we have a, it could be anything like v2 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 right manufacturer manufacturer let's say we have asus then ram slots let's say it have four lamp ram slots and card slots we have two card slots right okay we have to remove this maybe right so we are done with our case monitor and the motherboard now let's create let, now let's build our actual pc so we have pass pc my pc is a new pc right in the case so we, let's pass the case and let's pass monitor we have the monitor and we have uh, the motherboard the motherboard right so we are done with building our pc so as you as i have said that it is deal with has a relationship for example let's we have to access this uh, uh, in the monitor class we have to access this draw pixel at method so how do we access this in our pc because we don't have any overridden function 
as we have seen in the inheritance so to access this what we do we type uh, my pc dot get monitor dot drop pixel at and let's pass x x let's say 25 and y let's say uh, 10 and color is let's say red so this is how we access a method which is you know inside another class so what we have typed my pc in my pc my pc has a monitor and monitor has a draw pixel at method similarly that's uh, we have motherboard motherboard have a method called load program so what we do my pc dot get motherboard dot as you can see we have a load program load program let's say we have program name program name it could be booting right now again we are uh, we have a case here and case have a press power button so what we do we type my pc dot get the case dot press power button so now let's run this okay so as you can see here we got drawing pixel at 25 comma 10 with red color red then we have booting is loading it is uh, any programming and then we have power button is pressed as you can see here so this is what is a benefit over inheritance for example we have to have the properties of multiple classes so that is not possible in inheritance because at in one class we can inherit only another class one another class so this is the benefit of composition we can access multiple classes and multiple methods inside that classes so this is all about uh, composition i hope you enjoyed the video so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in the next video and also all these codes will be available to my github link in the description down below so see you in the next video